What's up? This helps caps the high def reviews. Today we're going to be talking about how to repair a DM1701 Baofeng DMR radio, digital motor turbo radio. So a lot of people out there buy these radios and then they're like, I want to do a firmware update, right? Well, this is happens if you follow this is what happens if you follow the normal update procedure and I'm going to show you how to fix your radio. Cuz a lot of people are probably like, "Oh shit." You know, cuz it's like 100 bucks. Um, so what you do when you go back, I'm going to show you the right, the wrong way to do it and the right way to do it. So you go to the website, you get the firmware shit, you get the, the DMR software downloader and it's going to be blank right here. So you go to wherever you put the file, the little, little white DM 1701 bin file. And then it's going to look like that. It's going to say that. That's the most current version right now for this radio. And then you click it and it highlights it, brings it up. And then you just click, yeah, I want to update my radio, Pippin. Oh, USB not found. Got to remember, plug in the programming cable. Um, and then you go, cool, it's good, it's working. It does the normal screen like it's supposed to. Like that's what actually like what it says when you're programming it with CPS, which is correct. So to the average user, like that would look correct. Like it's like not fucking up because uh, when you program with this, it, it shows you that same thing. So when with the firmware update, it also shows the same screen. So uh, I'm going to show you what happens when it's done flashing. It pretty much scrambles the processor and loads the firmware into the wrong portion of the RAM. And it clips over hex values at the very end of the RAM. So it basically shifts everything around and scrambles the shit out of the display. It'll still boot because it's like off by like a couple of kilobytes is shifted to the left by a few kilobytes so that's why it scrambles the display um, the way to fix that is enter a hidden secret programming mode and I'll show you how it only works with this radio as far as I know see it says successful right cool PC program mode that's normal it'll just stay there the procedure is to reset your radio after a firmware or a program or if it hangs or whatever so you turn it off and it goes into this shit and you're like oh no something weird happened because it looks odd right and you're like holy shit just nuked my radio right totally it's it probably still functions but you can't read or use it so this is how you fix that problem power down your radio you hold your uh, power select button and your PTT at the same time, like that, and you turn on your radio. Okay. You have to make sure your programming cable is not connected. And you push in both buttons at the same time. It's kind of hard to do. And then once you see it flashing red and green, you're in FW mode, which is firmware programming mode. So repro uh, replug in the thing, and that is normal. You won't see a screen. It'll just be a flashing light. And then you do your same routine. Hit your firmware. Click like that, and it'll just start scrolling across the screen and flashing the EEPROM. But you won't see a screen. This is the hidden mode. So this is how you properly flash the DM1701 without scrambling the checksum on the memory. Um, so for anybody out there who owns one of these, this is a very common mistake. There's forums that address this, but I thought I'd make a really short video about it. Five minute tech tutorial. So uh, Please remember to comment, like, rate, subscribe, because that's a very serious issue to the uninitiated user. It'll look like you just destroyed your radio, and this is how to fix it. 
so I'm just waiting to prove that you know it flashed correctly. Just make sure you get your uh, firmwares from baofengradio.ca and they have the most current firmwares. And then when it's done, it'll still flash with no screen. It says it was complete. And just click off of that, X the program, pull out your serial FTDI cable, reset the radio, and you're good to go. That's how you uh, repair one of these radios with a bad flash. So yeah, five minute tech tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, subscribe.